So Alex, in the advisories, uh, when, when it snows, we write snow fall amounts. So we'll say something like, it snowed eight inches. But then we also say, that was 0.8 inches of SWE, snow water equivalent. And like, I think it's a little confusing for folks. Like, A, why do we do that? Why does it matter? And what's it telling us? So wh why do we write that in the advisory? Why do, why do you, yeah, why take the time? We write about snow water equivalent in the advisory because it's telling us exactly how much weight was added to the snowpack. So what is snow water equivalent? So snow water equivalent is if we were to take, say, 10 inches of snow and melt it down into water, mm. it's the, the depth of water that we would have there. So Got it. If we have an inch of water equal to 10 inches of snow, that's what we call 10% density. Um, what's powder? Light powder is, like, cold smoke is, like, 3 to 5%. 10% um, is kind of average, and 12 to 15 is starting to get pretty... Cascady. Pretty cascady. And, and we, don't, we don't have that, right? <laughs> we won't admit it. We don't have that. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it's really important to know, because we could get 8 inches of 2% snow, and that's not a whole lot of weight if it's only 0.1 or 0.2 inches of water, but eight inches of 10% or 12% snow is almost an inch of water, and and that's a lot of weight in however amount of time that fell. So, so why does, uh, so, so Swee's measuring, you know, it's the weight, you know, it's the, of how much water there is, um, but why does, why does that matter? Like, why, yeah, why, why does that matter that much? Well, because the snowpack's gonna, the, the stability can, or the snowpack is gonna be strong enough to withstand a certain amount of weight. Um, and sometimes we have a pretty good grasp on how much that's gonna be. If we're, we got a weak layer that's just sitting there, it's not gonna hold as much weight as if it's buried five feet deep. Because we talk, because we talk in terms of inches of water when we talk to each other about what's going to tip scales and what's going to, we'll always, we talk about an inch of water, maybe an inch and a half of water, and we don't talk about inches of snow because it's, that's not helpful. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for explaining that. <laughs>